I have to ask you, you mentioned that you are writing Gabe's story. Right. And it's so interesting because in the book, I, I'm going to give a tiny spoiler away. I hope this okay. is okay. Yeah, it's fine. But, but he calls himself, or he's known as kind of the angel yeah, of death. He doesn't call himself. But Everybody dubbed him that. Yeah, dubbed, dubbed him dubbed the that. angel of death. And because there has been an accident in the past. Right. And um, we see a little bit of that coming back to, to haunt him in the form of uh, Miss Waverly. Right. Who is the sister of the person who who accidentally passed away? Right, and um, we see her in this book for briefly, but there's there's a lot of heat there. Is that yeah. what we're going to get yeah, in, in yeah, Gabe's yeah, story? Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's going to be him in Virginia, and and the, I think the reason it's giving me fits is because you know he he raced her brother. Her brother died as a result. It was a very reckless race that they shouldn't have run. And she blames him for that. And that makes it hard because it's like, okay, she's going to marry the guy who's, who killed her brother. But, of course, it was an accident. It's not like he stood there and had a duel with him and shot him or anything. I think that would be hard to get past. But, and I think it has to come to the point where she has to decide that, you know, Gabe was as much, you know, Gabe, Gabe is, has survivor's guilt. That's his, that's his problem is that he... You know, he thinks he should have handled the whole thing differently. And he was 19. They were both 19. They were young and stupid and did a stupid thing. And the thing is, is it very easily could have been the Gabe girl that wasn't. Died. I mean, yeah, right. yeah, it could. And, and so it, it could. wasn't. It, it wasn't like he purposely set up right, the friend right, or anything like right, that. Right, it just right, happened. Right, right. And the issue of who who laid down the challenge becomes a big thing in the in the next story and everything. So, how many Hellion books do you have scheduled? Like how um, many? It, I, well, right now it's it's five, but um, I may do a book with the cousin, and if I do a book with the cousin, <laughs> it'll be six. So you know, depending on how he turns out. I mean, he may turn out to be a complete jerk in the next book. I wanted to say another word, but I figured I better not on camera. But anyway, he he may turn out to be something I don't like because I haven't drawn him yet you know so, so there's there's a lot of movement there you don't yeah. necessarily know the, right. the entire series going in you kind of I mean I, I when I when I planned it I planned it to be five but then um I'm, but then I thought about um um maybe expanding it by one but I think six books is about a limit for a series for me I really do I think it, it gets to although you know and I know I mean like Stephanie Lauren says what endless sinsters and lots of people do the really long series I've just never set one up like that I I kind of like to have them have a, a, a sort of a story arc and have an end and a beginning and I've never done one of the eternal series you know or even longer than six so so I think six will probably be the limit, but, and I don't know if it'll go to six. I mean, I think it'll have a very feel, a, very much a feel of the end at five, and the six may be kind of an add-on as opposed to it ends with the sixth book, if you know what I mean.